What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Brothers, I am a part of the wider pro-black community. I will call it the greater pro-black community because it's broad. Inside of our community are your Pan-Africans. You can have uh, segments of what you would consider uh, FBA or ADOS. Um, those could coincide with the B1s. You you also have your Hoteps, um, you know, your Native American blacks, 5% nation, nation of Islam, black Christians, uh, atheists. All of those are in uh, that wider range of what I would call uh, the pro black community. And what I have noticed in that community amongst all sex, uh, for the um, exception of some of the Hebrew Israelite brothers who are a little bit more uh, holding people accountable, you always find that these guys do one of two things very well. Number one, they always um, hold white supremacy to task. Those will always be talking points. So whenever you are to confront the talking points of these guys, you will you will always notice uh, the white man or what the white man has done in his destabilization plan uh, in regard with regards to blacks will always be on the list. Secondarily, you also see holding black men accountable for whatever they're doing that's wrong. You will hear that from Dr. Umar Johnson, for an example, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Most, most of these guys have those talking points. They will use the word queen, protecting black women, all of that. And thirdly, you're going to find out that whenever something happens to these guys, they're going to be completely unaccountable, right? And you're also going to find that all their scandals usually revolve around women. Let me talk to me what I'm what I mean. Dr. Boyce Watkins uh, has come after many black men for their criticism of black women like Kevin Simmons. All right. But so many scandals that Dr. Boyce Watkins has been involved with or in involves black women themselves. Now think about a guy like Kevin, a guy like me, guys who were in the manosphere community. And you know, a lot of our talking points deal with black men in relationships. We have never had any skin of women criticizing us or having a bad experience with us. But Michi X has dropped some more receipts about Dr. Boyce Watkins and his proclivity or his proclivities. Let us play a clip of that and come back. Hey, y'all. So I just want to talk real quick and say something about um, dumbass Dr. Watkins. <laughs> if you have not noticed, everybody been running through the ringer this week. And it's a great thing. I think it's beautiful, right? <laughs> so I want to add two more cents, right? I really didn't have anything to say about Dr. Watkins. I've been on this man neck for years. I've said everything a million times, but... I'm going to say some things one more time because I listened to Dr. Watkins' um, video response. And one of them, he brought my name up, of course. So you say my name enough like Candyman, mother I'm here, okay? But you, he just said some really trifling stuff. And this man is really delusional, y'all. And it is amazing to me how he can sit back after everything that's been said about him, and he sits there and he acts as though everybody has a problem. This man called Yvette Carnell mentally unstable. He sat and completely ignored things that JT had already answered as though that wasn't the case, right? Um, he's just making up stuff off the top of his head. He even went back to saying my damn name. I help all these people. I help all these people. I help all these people. These are the people that I be helping and they do this to you. He always tries to play like he's the victim. So I would just like to remind Dr. Watkins, since he wants to act like he's such a decent person and that everybody does his wrong, him wrong. He don't do nothing to nobody, right? That all he did was try to help everybody. Dr. Watkins, everybody that has had something to say, sir, you have done something to them. You don't pay people. You take people's work and pass it off as your own. You stole my domain while you smiled in my face and was working with me, okay? I'll show the texts. Maybe I'll play them all at the end of this video. Maybe I won't because they've all been put out there, right? But you stole my domain and then pretended that you didn't know who did it. And then your manager called you on it and was like, you did do that shit. And she texted me and said, Michi, that shit is really f and I'll give it back to you. Although you never did.
You say people should call you if they have a problem. Sir, we call you all the time. You don't answer the phone for anybody. Do you remember the young lady who was your friend? Why you want to talk about how you let Yvette Carnell come in? You helped her. You claim you let her stay in your home. Now, I don't know if that's true. But even if it was, do you remember the friend that you had? They considered you one for four whole years and then you fired this woman during the beginning of, of the pandemic and you wouldn't give her the over $4,000 that you owed her. She got evicted because you wouldn't pay her. You want to keep talking about how much of a decent person you are, sir? You talk down on every single person. Let's talk about when I was at Fly New Being Queen. Y'all, do you want to know how many times Dr. Watkins would call me and have me try to go in on people that he claims to be friends with? Let's be specific. When Charlemagne was getting run through the ringer about his uh, assault on the young lady that said he had did something to her many years ago, Dr. Watkins called me and was like, Charlemagne is my friend. And I don't have a problem with Charlemagne, but I want you to know that I think it's a good idea if you do a video and if you would like to go in on him, like you can say whatever you want about him. Talk about the essay, the assault that he did to that young girl. It'd, be, it'd make for good views. And he's like, so you can go and do that. Now, I never did the video about it because it's not something that I was passionate about talking about at the time, right? But he was trying to push me to do it. Now, I want y'all to hear what I'm saying here. Charlemagne is supposed to be his friend. Why then would you be encouraging somebody to go in and talk? Now, guys, I just want to uh, discuss this, all right? And let me just say, so many brothers in these communities spend their time targeting women, which I think is very weak. You know, you say you want to protect these ladies. You love these ladies. Yet, when... There are allegations from Yvette Carnell, Paris Milan, Mitri X. I mean, notice that they're never talking about nobody in the manosphere. These are guys in the pro-black space who love black women so much. And yet they're going back and forth, having serious quarrels with women. And as petty as I can be, and y'all know, I'm a real petty Negro. No, I make no, um, I make no defense about that. I am very petty. I definitely am, but you have never seen me, for the most part, go back and forth. You have never seen me go back and forth with women on this platform, never. But you find Dr. Boyce Watkins, Mrs. Mr. I Love Black Women, who's married to a black woman, going back and forth with Michi X, going back and forth with Yvette Carnell. And then these are the people that you said that want to build the community. I would, I would like to tell you this. You know, a lot of these brothers out here, they say one thing. Actions do another. What kind of man treats women like that? And I, I, I hate to even, I, I've never even talked like that, but what kind of, and, and you guys know, I'm very biased toward my male content that I create. I'm always really trying to give a man the benefit of a doubt in my, but in this case, how can you? All right. A lot of these brothers and sisters, especially sisters, are trying to join up Black Nubian Queen. This guy using his platform, he's saying, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Charlamagne the God's friend, but you should be able to go in on him because that gets views. Yvette Carnell proved the same thing with the, with the Farrakhan thing. All right? You know, maybe we could put those receipts up right now. The Farrakhan receipts. He loves Farrakhan so much. Look at him talking about Farrakhan behind his back. And then you come out and act like everybody got a problem with you. you you're never accountable for nothing that you do. At all. It's always somebody else's fault. Then you wonder why these guys who are in the B1 community while a lot of black men are turned off. Do you think that anybody wants to join the community that's led by Dr. Umar Johnson or Boyce Watkins? When all these guys do is lie. And at least Umar, right, they said he put the school up, so I'll leave him alone. But Dr. Boyce, absolutely not. And Boyce, you need to get it together, brother. I don't care how many times you come back here and you 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 do whatever he's talking about. I'm gonna hold you a task, brother, until you stop with all this foolishness. So guys. What do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk.
Appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.